Oof, my eyes are feeling dry. Not as bad as uh, last night. Feel pretty dry. I guess it's kind of dry outside. Uh, it was super cold this morning and it's starting to heat up. Look at me, 20,000 gold. Not where I'm supposed to go. I feel like I'm rich. Another 60,000 and I can afford that, uh... An item that's supposed to make it so that you're immune to all status effects. And I bet you that item doesn't even work. Where am I going? I'm going all the wrong places. Luckily, there's no random encounter, so I do not feel punished. This is definitely the best dungeon so far. I just wholeheartedly appreciate this game. As this, just really nice. Now, what do we got? Is that a computer? Abraxas's final diary. As an ashen eye, I was able to communicate with a spirit, which I had named the Great Spirit. The spirit had an enormous amount of knowledge and wisdom and agreed to share it with us if I help him, or helped him know more about our world, Artania. For that purpose, King Zodiac made a pact with the spirit, the Zodiac Covenant. The pact allowed the spirit to walk in this world within Zodiac's body. In exchange, the spirit bestowed upon Zodiac's people power over nature, magic. To bring the great spirit into the, into the world, I made five magical items, the armaments. When when Zodiac wore them, it created a magical link between him and the Great Spirit, and the Spirit was thus able to come into our world using Zodiac's body. But as time went by, the Great Spirit gradually took complete control over Zodiac's body, and I became suspicious, yeah, suspicious of its motives. I consulted with the other trusted spirits, discovered the Great Spirit's true intentions, uh, I think there's a space missing right there, but uh, the Great Spirit was known at, to the spirits as the Forbidden. He is from a world known as the Black Rift, and he somehow expands that world at the expense of new worlds he has summoned into. When I confronted him about it, it sent him in a fit of rage, and he unleashed terrible magics on Zodiac's people. He then somehow opened a small rift to his own world and his army, the dragons, started pouring into Artania, bent on imposing their master's rule, and thus the war started. The Forbidden War, as our people call it. But the Forbidden is proving, or is proving too powerful for our forces to vanquish, and so I have started working on a way to contain him. I believe I have found a way to seal him in the or into the five armaments. Though it means I might have to seal my own spirit in the process. But I must stop this evil I have so care uh, carelessly unleashed into our world. The danger will remain, though, as the same ceremony that was used to bring forth the Forbidden into Zodiac's body could be used again if someone, someone was foolish enough to gather all five armaments. Fortunately, only a rare Magi... Uh, Fortunately, only a rare magi not gifted with magic, just like we were before the Zodiac Covenant, could participate in such a ritual. Still, the risks are too great, and so I have instructed my followers to disperse the armaments into the world after the sealing ceremony, locking them in magical constructs that nothing short of the Forbidden's own power could unseal. Interesting. Thank you for taking care of all these monsters. I'll take it from here. Interesting. Ah, welcome. 
I had time to go over Braxus's notes and his message while you were resting. There was a lot of material there, so let's make sure we're all on the same page. Uh, tell us for us. Is your assistant really necessary for this meeting? Why, yes. She can explain many of the finer points even better than me. All right, then. Now, where were we? Ah, yes. Reviewing, uh, reviewing the information gathered. Are we clear on the armaments? Abraxas made them. The Forbidden made. Telesphorus made. Abraxas made them. Abraxas made them to summon the Forbidden Spirit into this world. Indeed. Did you figure out how the Magi's obtained their magical powers? The f <laughs> bunny. The Forbidden gave them magical abilities in exchange for a vessel in this world. Indeed. Legend has it, the Forbidden was sealed away somewhere. In the armament. He was sealed in the armaments by Abraxas, so the Forbidden is really... Oop. Iru was hearing when he touched the armaments. Alright, so... I didn't think they were actually going to reveal this this soon, and I was actually going to make this prediction. And I consider this a missed opportunity. And uh, I gotta admit, I'm a little disappointed. Because then I could have been, you know, like, aha, see, you know, I know what's going on around here. I'll be paying attention. No, I can't say that. Why was the forbidden sealed away? To stop him from destroying Artania to expand his own world, the Black Rift. Indeed. Why is it that only Kairu can hear the Forbidden? He is magicless. He is a magic magicless magi, just like the magis were when they made their contract with the Forbidden. Indeed. So if Vi could hear the Forbidden as well, he is magicless. He is a magicless magi, just like Kairu. He probably has magic right now because he's using an armament piece like Kairu was when using the armament sword. Indeed. So since Vi is the only magicless apart from Kairu, and he's gathering the armaments, his goal is probably... Um... It's gonna be one of these, and I, I'm, I'm not gonna choose this one because the Forbidden War is over, so I'm gonna do, do the ceremony. Do the ceremony that will unseal the Forbidden since only a magicless magi can perform it. Indeed. I guess that sums it up. Nice work. Here's something you might find useful. Alright, can you walk a little bit faster? Laced boots. So the Samarkins are not moving because they are preparing the ceremony. But why would they want to unleash the Forbidden and destroy the world? Apart from Abraxas' own records, no other books seem to say the Forbidden controlled Zodiac's body to destroy our world. My guess is they are not aware of this, or maybe they think they can control the Forbidden. Regardless of their motivation, Samarkand's father must be stopped. Indeed, if the Forbidden is to unleashed in this world, I fear things could go terribly wrong. How are we going to stop them, though? I. I thought we could only reach their continent with a skyship. Hmm. If you could make your way to Arkle Sky Base, there are skyships transporting goods to the Empire lands departing from there. We've not been able to infiltrate them in the past, but I'm sure for people of your ability, sneaking onto one of these skyships should be easy. How will we reach the Arkle Sky Base? You'll have to go through Plateau Arkle since that's the only area where our ships can land. Yuji knows all about it. He went his, since he went this way in his past. Well, uh, we'll have him wait for you at the port and he'll give you the details. All right, let's go kick some Samarkand butt. Yeah. All right. Rada, oh, Rada, oh, Rada. Let's go save again. 
It is 1.35, almost a seven hour stream. So shy of it. Like me to the port. That's not the port, that's the desert, man. Well, the monster codex would be useful if it allowed all party members to see it. Um, but I guess with the current party configuration, it's not too bad. It's just that if the um, I have the encounter set to not pause between turns, so it's kind it's kind of punishing to look at it. But it's it's just something nice for me. So whatever. We're going back to Xanadu, the Samarkand capital. Good luck. Reach Samarkand, you will need to sneak on a skyship at the Arkel Sky Base. Arkel lies northeast from here. Can't go directly to Arkel from the shore, though. You'll have to climb the nearby cliffs. Sounds like a great plan. Please be careful, sweet Isa. Thanks, Juji. We'll be fine. I will be your captain for the ride. Are you ready to depart? Assuming that you'll actually notify us if the freaking pirates show up this time, man. Last time you were just sleeping or something. Didn't even warn us. Um, how much damage were they doing to me here? Probably too much. We'll, we'll relax. Got some hit points on you. All right, we are getting bodied. some crazy dudes. Acid bomb. Right, these are the guys that busted me up before. That did actually hit him. Yeah, these guys do a lot of damage. We're all paralyzed. Well, nice knowing. Life is hard. Save before I walked in here, did I? No, I did not. Looks like we need to make some uh, some alterations here.
That's sleeping, that's sleeping. Fusion charm, sleep. Give you the lace boots as well. again. I did it. I did it. I beat him. Now I just have to con Continue to beat them. <laughs> I'll beat them again. Dogs are barking. Potion. Probably wasn't worth the time. Dog is not going to stop barking. Alright, I'm going to have to start stealing some MP. I just realized I forgot to go check out that Holy Spirit thing. place. 